Good outdoor day, y'all. I have got me a little coffee buzz going on right now, and I'm just ready to get the day on. We got a little bit of a frowny face on the weather situation right now. Heard there is a 3D archery deal going on up here, and I haven't tried it yet, and I thought, wouldn't that be fun? Instead of just shooting out a daggum paper or foam target, actually shoot some 3D targets. I need to get some arrows cut and stuff like that. Just kind of get things ready for game time. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Fishing and hunting's about to get good. I'm about to have a baby. And I'm trying to think of all the stuff that I can do close. I'm probably gonna be doing the least amount of travel that I've done since I started this channel for uh, like a month. I'm shooting 3D archery close to the house today. I'm on call. OSG texts me, calls me. She goes into labor. I gotta be close, man. Y'all know how it is. Maybe you don't know how it is. Maybe you're a youngster out there. But anyway, I'm about to experience life in a big way. Let's go see what a 3D archery range is like. I got Mike and uh, Brad here from the hog hunt the other night. It's getting their bow sided in as well. So, you know, just doing this a little group activity. Fun times. Folks at home, there's been a break in the weather. We can finally go shoot. You got the range set. You basically only need one arrow unless you plan on losing some or hitting a tree. So I'm bringing a smooth dozen. Step up there. Well, you can go for the bear. You're not gonna take that easy hog. Oh, that is so dead. Oh. 27, okay. My 25 pin. Oh, it's the biggest frog I've ever, I've ever looked at. It's a trophy. Oh, frog, frog soup for dinner. Trophy, speckled back poison arrow frog. That's, that's... I went all the way through the... Oh yeah. So far, three animals have expired. We've got a pig, a bear, and a daggum speckled back poison arrow dart frog. Now let's see what we got next. What is it? It's an axis. Axis deer, 37 yarder. Money. Oh, that's juicy. <sighs> Bow shooting. Pretty good. Pretty good. Perfect conditions out here. Oh, he is so dead. We had him covered at all things. No. That right is a here. bear back Come there. Right or a gorilla. That is a pony. A hyena or a Some sort of jackal or I like jackal. Jackal's probably the cool I think it's sound. got an animal in its now I got. Read? I had 28 right there. 28.6. Go ahead and put that 30 pinner. Quiet in the gallery. Oh. He's back there, prowling. Dude, he could charge at any minute. Ready your arrow. Oh, I heard it. Way high. Robin Hood. You kind of look like Robin Hood. Whatever Robin Hood looks like. It's a cool character. Oh, he did. Got him. Smoked him. Let's go see how we did here. The jackal that's been raiding the village lately, taking all of our, our chickens. He's got a liver or something in his. That'd be a squirrel. Oh, pesky panther. Oh, man. What you a, don't have to show mine. What a drill job. Say we're on at 40 yards, folks. Speckled cow. Oh, it's got antlers. It's a fallow. It's a fallow. Male. Nothing dangerous here, just good meat. Twenty-six point nine, you're dialing it in that much. He looks tired. I don't shoot animals that are sleeping. So Oh. Night night. Well boys. Put a nice little trio in that one. Ooh, drilled him. Gotta kinda lean into this one a little bit. Lean to the right. Oh, money shot. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's dinner time, folks. Look at that. Oh yeah. He took two. Two to the chesticles right there. He's leaning over, he's going down. It's a slow death. Hurting on them foam ones today. Oh yeah, shoot from right here. This bro. is it. 47 yards splitting the trees on a 40, fox. 40. 
Ooh, Ooh, I heard it hit. Shoulder blade, you gonna try it? Freaking, I thought you were. Come on now. I mean, Brad just nailed one with an upside down sight. <laughs> I think oh, you can do it. Wood. <laughs> no. Money shot. Wood. Money I think shot. it was wood. That's wood. Shut up. <laughs> it's wood. It's wood. <laughs> no. Yeah. We'll, we'll find it. <laughs> okay, 49, I'm gonna dial it in. 1-800, hit a lot. <laughs> oh, that is a hit. <clears throat> nice. Busted him. I'm getting that one back, buddy. This is the boneyard over here. That's a toughie. Going through the uprights. Look how many people have hit the tree. Skimmed off the tree. Woo! Oh, Mr. Foxy, you done messed up. Anybody want Oh, add to the boneyard. Toughest shot we've seen so far. Hope this thing holds three people. Yeah. Big gator. Pie out him. Do you want to go ahead and smoke a carp while you're there? Blasted that one. Can you take the whole pond out? You going no range? Ranging. No, I'm ranging. Scared. Headshot? You going for the head? Okay. Oh. Sometimes they get away. <laughs> they do. They swim away. Gator headshot? Gator to the face. I'm trying to get him in the eyeball. Well, I got him in the jaw. He'd be angry. But the carp are attacking. <laughs> I have to get an arrow. There we go. Robin Hood. I'm playing it safe. I'm going for the body shot. Brad to the rescue. <laughs> Quick range on the carp. 29. <sighs> <laughs> Got him. This new range we're at, we've switched spots. It is way more intricate and cool, dangerous, some might say. We need something big like a gorilla or an elephant, prehistoric animal or something. What could be down what this path? What was that? Oh, here it is. Here it is. You got to get up in a stand for this one. Turkey. Is it turkey? Heck yeah, dude. Which gobbler are you gandering at? The one at the right. The right one? Thank you, got him. Oh, man. <laughs> there it go. That is a shot right there. Shooting a turkey in the face. <sighs> Leopard in the mist. <sighs> what do you think the best bow name ever is? <sighs> got him. I'm thinking Apache Thunder. Doesn't scare animals off. <laughs> Kitty Dale. Have you ever seen a pull in dynamite? No. It's a liger. It has white scat, puts it down its legs just for camouflage in the Arctic. If it wants to go in the African plains, it can. No problem. Here we go. Mike's going for the Mondo elk. We've also got Mondo mosquitoes all around us. You're going for the far one? Yeah, gum. Some mosquitoes biting me. Oh. His antlers are shaking. Whoo! Got him in the leg. This is a cool course right here, y'all. It's got all kinds of stuff going on. 50 yard shot at some elks. Oh, you got the old sleepy elk there. Dude, a 50 yard shot, freaking blasted him. In the center, that's pretty good shooting there, boys. Me, Captain, I'm gonna slow him down a little bit. Yeah, well, he's got ankle tape on. I mean, he's he's been in the game a long Definitely time. Definitely a runner. He's a runner. Definitely a runner. He's been training. Let us know in the comments how far do you think that bear is. Oh, I'd say you had it right, sir. Yes. That bear has had his last biscuit. 36 yards. Hadn't moved. <laughs> Smokey moved. Let's be honest. I got to get another shot. I can't. I can't be having that. I can't have Smokey running away like that. Old number one. See that? It's what you throw out when you're having a bad day. You got to get that old number one arrow. Well, it'll do. Smoky, we just put your fire out. Goodbye, Bino Hunters Mike. Yeah. See you Good luck later. on your hunt. See you, Brad. See you later. 
Made it back from the range, y'all. That was so much more fun. Just the way to go, in my opinion. The next time I go back, I think what I want to do is just practice without the rangefinder or go through the course once and then not use the rangefinder. That way you kind of have a general idea, but to get your eyes guessing, that's way harder and that's more realistic hunting situations when a deer just walks out or a hog comes out. Being able to judge that and then shoot accurately, that's when you know you're like Robin Hood. It sure did give me the fever while I was out there to go and check some game cameras, get, just get in hunting mode. I set out some game cameras in some areas uh, around where I saw those big deer last time. I set out some ones for hogs as well. I'll be doing a whole deal on those, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But I really wanted to put out some cameras just to see like what is walking around in some of the areas that uh, I've been exploring, and I know there's some big deer. Some of y'all said, y'all, hey man, put out some trail cameras down there, see what's going on. They've been out there for like a week and a half. So let's go see what is creeping around out here in the woods. We're gonna have to get out the shetty. There's been a ton of rain, a ton of growth. Look at that crazy spider, man. Let's just see. 309. I got a really good feeling there's gonna be some nice deer on there, but this isn't an area that I can hunt. I'm just doing this for you guys, just to see. And I'm curious myself, to be honest. I also put it in a kind of a swampy area because I was wondering if hogs were coming down here this far. I'm doing a whole video on these hogs, like on the public land and hunting them and everything that I'm doing, everything I'm learning. So you guys can stay tuned for that. It sure is fun to look at them. And come spring, I wanna know where some good sheds are. So I'm gonna move this camera to another location, but it's really far away. It's probably like four miles from where I am right now. So I might have to do that in another video, but let's go see what's on this camera right now. Hopefully we got some juicy bucks. Alrighty, ladies and gents. This is the exciting part, isn't it? So we're gonna pop open the laptop, pop in this SD card. How many of y'all are doing that out there right now? Checking them. Let me know in the comments. It's exciting and fun. It's like Christmas. Now I did go ahead and pre-order a camera, a wireless, not wireless, it's actually an LTE style camera that sends you immediate updates if anything walks in front of the camera. You can do live. I have no idea when it's gonna be here probably will be here next hunting season, but that's how pre-orders work. Everyone that knows Guggen Bates knows that. <sighs> I'm nervous, a little excited. Man, this stuff is growing up so thick. This is very, very thick. So uh, light, wispy bush trees. So they probably just moved around in the wind. Where are the monster bucks, man? You got to be kidding me. I cannot believe, not even a daggum squirrel. <laughs> I did get a squirrel. There he is, staring straight at the camera. Y'all, that is extremely disappointing. Let's go ahead and check another camera, uh, one of my hog cameras. Here we go, right off the bat, boom. Whitetail, doe. Oh, there's some fawns, or a fawn. Just starting to lose its, lose its spot there. This might be like a feeding area. Oh, oh, what's up, girl? Yeah, you've been spotted. Oh, yes. Yeah. 12. 30, 12, 10 a.m. Oh, big nasty. Uh, no more velvet. You know, last time I saw uh, these bucks down there, they were in velvet. It's got a really cool rack, actually. Looks like a neat, neat nine point. Oh yeah, you can see him just kind of rubbing the rest of his, his antler fuzz off there. Uh, he looks fairly mature. He looks like he's three or four years old. Oh, he is all over the place here all over the place, many days in, in a row, at multiple times a day. Yeah, up until very recently. God, what a cool deer. I'll tell you what, I am fired up now to get out on the woods and just take a gander, ready for some cool mornings. There's a lot of things locally that I'm trying to plug myself into public hunting lands. Kind of staying close, because guess what guys, baby's gonna be here this week. Probably by the time this video goes up. I know I'm not gonna be able to go on a lot of crazy trips and stuff that I'm used to doing, just traveling around a lot on hunting and fishing trips. So I'm really excited though about 
staying local, staying in Texas, and especially around my region, going after some of these, these deer and hogs that I'm really studying, and it makes it even more special when you harvest the animal. And we got the old bow dialed in straight, guys. All we gotta do is get out there and get on. If you guys enjoyed the scanning of the lands, the, the trail campers, let me know in the comments. I wish you could do this with fish. Have like underwater cameras set up, and, like when schools are coming in that area, be like, yep, yep, that school of four patterns there again. Maybe I need to invent that. Like an infrared underwater camera that takes pictures of fish, and you know when they're there. You get live updates. You're just like, yep, old Ethel's back in my hole. I'm gonna head out there right now. That's a daggum good idea. I like that. Well, that's all I got for you today, guys. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe and hit the ding-dongs so you actually don't miss the hunts. And next time I see you guys, I'm gonna be a daddy. So make sure to go ahead and subscribe over at the Lake Life Family channel as well. That's where a lot of the family stuff goes down these days. I'll leave a link down below for that. I love you guys. I hope you're having a blessed day wherever you are. And I will see you guys on the next one. And this table's done. <laughs> Finally.